local now. Right now, there is one big question. Who was in the barrel? Boaters making a disturbing discovery along the shore of Lake Mead. Tonight, we are learning more about how long this person could have been in the lake, concealed now for years. Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Brian Loftus. I'm Denise Valdez. Our 8 News Now I-Team broke this story last night. Now, the I-Team first to tell you that the body was likely underwater for decades. The receding water revealing more than just New Beach. Our David Charnes is near Hemingway Harbor talking to investigators. Where I'm standing today was underwater 40 years ago, about the time that police believe the person found in this barrel died. Today, there are no signs of that barrel as investigators try to figure out just who this was. It's a troubling side effect of climate change. As Lake Mead dries up, the so-called secrets here are being revealed. We heard a woman scream from the side of the beach, and then my husband went over to obviously see what was wrong. Shauna Hollister was returning to Hemingway Harbor when she saw the disturbing discovery. She spoke to 8 News Now on the phone. And then he realized there was a body there in a barrel. What do you make of this? I mean, it's a unique homicide investigation. Las Vegas Metro Police Homicide Lieutenant Ray Spencer says teams have recovered remains in the lake before, but never like this. Even identifying the person is going to be an extensive challenge at this point. A challenge because evidence in that barrel puts the time frame of this person's death in the 1980s. Spencer says police are reaching out to scientists at UNLV to give them a better idea of just how long the oil container was in the water. Because originally the barrel we believe was fully intact. So for it to have eroded, we're trying to determine how long they were down uh, under the water level. As for who was in the barrel, that could take a while. It's heartbreaking to see that that's somebody's loved one that's out there. So, I mean, I hope they get justice or somebody finds out at least who it is. And as the lake continues to recede, Spencer says similar cases could come to the surface. I mean, I would say there's a very good chance as the water level drops that we are going to find, you know, additional human remains. Investigators say they know how this person died, but they're not telling us. Only the killer would know that. They add it will take several months to figure out just who this person is. Along Lake Mead, I'm David Charns, live, local, now. Metro Police asking us to remind you any tip can be submitted anonymously through Crime Stoppers. That number and their website right there on your screen. Crime Stoppers offers a reward for information that leads to a conviction.